Hey everybody, this is Ardoom, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Darkest Dungeon, the Crimson Courtyard, where, um, yeah, I'm gonna need to reset my bearings, get my bearings, pick a direction, and stick with it. I haven't played the game in a couple of days, because I've been busy doing other stuff, like sorting out interviews, and jobs, and insurance, and all sorts of adult stuff. Um, so yeah, it's time for us to go back into the Warrens. Uh, we are in need of portraits, deeds, as well as crests up to a limited point. Uh, we also need to unlock the Warrens boss, hope that our infestation level goes from medium to high, which is a strange thing to say. Again, I do need invitations to take out the Count S, but again, I picked the Warrens. We have a party of Houndies, as well as a Nico the Flagellant. Again, lots of Ancestors trinkets in this mix. Now that we're getting to the higher levels of the game, could probably take on DD1 if I wanted to, but I want to take out all the bosses if I can, get all the trinkets that I need, and uh, yeah, press on bravely, bravely into the Abyss. That all said, that all done, it's time for us to provision up. No one is rocking the blood, so you need to worry about that. We have so many dog treats, it's going to be holding me back in a big way. To be prepared for a long dungeon, I'll probably need to say that much food might be overkill I'm gonna bring that much torch at least one stack of shovels one stack of keys that's too much and because we're going to be going into the warrens let's take a quick check at the cheat sheet warrens 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 medicinal herbs yeah medicinal herbs will come in very handy all right that's that decision made um no room in the inventory for anything else on account of the dog treats. I'll have to use those pretty early on. Let's embark and get stuck in while things loaded up. As always, I'll thank you guys for tuning in. I actually just um, hit 50 subscribers. Made a bit of a thank you video. I'll put the description in the link below. Um, don't think I can bring in, use an annotation because I generally use those for my end screens. But yes, 50 subscribers, over 10,000 views. That's an incredible result, but that is neither here nor there. Let's get into the dungeon and see what we have to see. They breed quickly down there in the dark but perhaps we can slay them even faster okay pathing is interesting i could take this route this route clear that off and then do that yeah i think i will let's start by going west because i hear life is peaceful there let's see what we have in store in this unscattered corridor well a trap first of all does four damage bit of stress but no bleed Great, get the scouting in, which is fantastic. Corridor battle and some curios coming up. An obstacle there as well for us to worry about. Again, we just have to complete rune battles at this stage. Not anything else, so I'm not too concerned. Yep, some crests. That's fine by me. And our first battle, we get surprise in, which is fantastic. The Skeever, a Slayer, and a Flesh Eater um, ready for us to kill. I am going to mark that Skeever because they can do some epic party damage. Let's get that mark started. What's the debuff? Less prot, he has no prot, but his debuff resistance is really high, so it's probably going to work. Oh, everything works! Fantastic. Alright, now that he's marked, we can start laying down the pain train. 17 damage taken, done and done. No bleed, that's fine by me. Punish goes down, 14 damage taken, which is absolutely fantastic. Again, resists the bleed. Hopefully this will be the kill. Yes! Alright, so no skiver to worry about. That was a really good opening round. That surprise came in really handy. All right, early dodge, that's fine. Munch goes down and it's eight damage, but we can live with eight damage, especially without that blight kicking in, which is just fine by me. Might take the opportunity to self heal. Might be redundant at this stage though. The protection on this chappy is pretty high. I'm gonna use this turn to mark him and debuff his prot, hopefully. Yes, all right, he's gonna be weak as weak comes. Great dodge on Pippery the Houndmaster. It's time for us to start laying down the pain train. 26 damage taken and a bleed to boot. Finishing things off on that Slayer and everything is just working beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. And that bleed it even takes. That's round, done, and dusted. If we get the first move in with a Houndmaster, we will absolutely use it. Um, bet, 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 bet. Let's just waste the turns if we can. Hopefully a Houndy gets in the first Hope we can get that heal in on yes we can all right done and done that's everything we wanted to, to come from this round let's finish off combat now and job is done triple hound masters are insane triple hound masters are insane i keep forgetting to use dog treats which is foolish of me not going to bother there with that curio because again treasure is just not loot isn't necessary at this stage of the game like, uh, money, I literally can't spend the money I have. The match is struck. Thank you, Bank. <laughs> Thank you, Bank. 
Oh, all right, let's keep on keeping on. We have a chance to get some de-stress going through here. A free torch. Again, torches are occupying a mighty, my mighty large pile of my first, inventory, right? but I thought this would be a longer dungeon than it actually is. Home. Let's take care of a bit of minor stress there as well. Yep, that's gone down to 4 and 21 on Nico, which is fine by me. Have a battle room in store here. A slayer, a champion, and a reaver. And we have the element of surprise in our favor, which is always cause for joy. Um, might want to focus down on the units other than the champion for the moment. Need to definitely take out that Slayer. And a plea attack is a really good start. Yes, that's just fine by me. I am going to take the opportunity to debuff him his protection as well. That mark is going to come in very, very handy. Um, I could be worried about the stress that the Reaver is going to do, but to be entirely honest, um, everything will come in good time. Everything will come in good time. There we go. That Slayer has been taken care of really quickly. That removal protection makes all the difference in the world. Great dodge from Pippery on the back row. Trot Retreat goes down. No damage as always. And that Reaver is in early, easy, and very, very simple reach for a painting. Good dodge on his part, but he won't be able to pull it off too many times. Chance to hit a 74, which is absolutely absurd. I'm going to keep going until I get him one-shotted. Uh, unfortunately, it's the third shot, third time being the operative charm. Eight damage taken on the champion, and that bleed does tick in. His bleed resist is reduced as well, which will come in very, very handy. Boar Rush on Nico, 16 damage, and he's pushed back to the back ranks and stunned. That's a bit of bad luck, but when... When he's back in the game, he's going to be back in the game. In the meantime, we are going to drop a mark on the champion to reduce his protection by a very, very healthy amount. Try for a stun. It will not take. No, will not take, but at least we can do some decent damage there. 21 damage is not too shabby, especially with the additional bleed there. Nico needs to move up, but he may not have the chance to. Crunching backhand goes down. Double dodge. Double, double dodge. Very nicely done. I'm actually going to help out on this. It's irrelevant. It's actually an actively irrelevant. Right, let's just do whatever damage we can with that stun attack. We know that it is going to take. And Hound's Rush again with that. Oh, sweet, sweet damage being done. Um, I can redeem. I may as well. It will get me the health back. Or I could just keep this. No, let's, let's waste the redeem on a self-heal. Nice, and that crit is going to reduce my stress level by a small, small amount as well, which I'm not going to complain over in the least. That champion is dead, and we are looking fine. Now, busts aren't the most important thing to me at this stage. Um, they are going to be very, very handy in a number of ways. But the question I have to ask myself is what I can afford to throw out, and I can definitely afford to throw out dog treats. I'm not even using them. It's insane. Uh, I can't pick up anything else. That gold is kind of redundant. Uh, let's just leave things as they are. Oops, sorry, misclick that. Shuffle back to first positions. Everyone is back in black. Let's get ready to carry on, and we might need to do a preemptive like camp or something just to empty out our inventory. What's your chance to some? It is very poor. Very poor indeed. All right, that's looking a little bit better. Carrying on, we have a curio. We're going to leave those books the hell alone. And uh, torch up, get into this curio battle room, and see what we have in store for ourselves. Okay, meat hooker champion and a thunderer are all surprised because life is just too good for me. Protection on that meat hooker is very high. In fact, protection on everyone is very high. I'm going to start off by trying to take out... Mm. To take out that meat hooker put an early mark there and then focus our damage again we have surprise and I want to avoid there we go one hit kill very nice very nice uh, drop a bleed on the champion not that it's going to do much, a lot of direct damage but those bleeds will definitely add up over time and we'll start chipping away at that thunderer as well that bleed does take he's got one round in him he'll drop some stress on somebody I'm sure oh okay triple dodge and a little bit of unpleasantness just on Nico Borosh goes down 17 damage taken not quite on Half-Life, and he is stunned. Fortunately, the move is resisted there. Let's focus up and focus down on that Thunderer. Done and done with a sweet, sweet critical hit there. Unfortunately, the stress does not spread. Let's debuff the protection and mark up that champion. And again, we should be able to take these guys down like absolute clockwork. Critical hit for 41 damage plus 8 bleed coming in the next turn. Everything is looking fantastic. Crunching backhand. 8 and 7 damage. We are definitely in the Half-Life Threshold. No stun either, so we should be in a really good place to take this guy down. 
chance to stun him is non-existent, but we will... Oh well, that's... that'll do. That'll do. You could kill him. It's an option. Alright, uh, that archer's ring I don't care about. The money is irrelevant, um, and the ruby is also irrelevant. What I'm going to do is consider my options. Is that too much? That was way too much, alright. Oops, I misclicked and went a little bit too far with that. I'm going to actually use up some of this food because I literally don't need it and do a quick check of the cheat sheet shows me that the sacrificial stone has uh, even odds of doing horrible things to me. I'm going to leave it the hell alone. <laughs> a very frustrating secret door that I, I know that I can't use. Uh, looking at pathing, I know that I have one battle room I have to go down here, and that should clear things out, double back, and finish that off. In fact, I don't even need to do this corridor battle. I don't need to, and I don't need to. What should I do here? What should I do here? I mean, I could be a completionist, but I don't have any room in my inventory. I could throw things out. I mean, money's... That's the problem with the late game. Money's kind of irrelevant. I don't need to finish the dungeon, and I'm not going to. How about that? How about that? I'll just press on down this way, pick up that torch out of habit, because why not? Oh, sweet lady busts. Can't just drop that excess food, close, press on, and just disarm that trap. Dunsky. We have an empty room coming up, which is fine by me. Uh, I actually do need to find a relevant reason to actually camp. <laughs> Bleed resist is insanely high on Nico. Found some extra supplies. Not that I actually need them in any way, shape, or form. If I can feed you, I will, and I can't. That's all done and dusted. Again, I'm just holding on to... Oh, here we go, some bloodsuckers. That's fine by me. These guys don't get surprised, unfortunately. So we are going to take a few hits, potentially take a curse as well. Um, but again, uh, everything is looking like it's just fine. We'll definitely focus on the Chevalier, though. Definitely focus on that Chevalier. His prot is down to nothing. The Thirst goes down on the back row. Once again, five damage taken. And uh, poor Pippery has been taking his fair share of unpleasantness. Five damage once again. Might get himself healed, or I can use Redeem from Nico when the time comes. What I will do, though, is definitely try and take down that Chevalier as early as possible, because they can do some... There we go! Oh, mark mechanics are lovely. Alright, front ranks damage 21. If that bleed takes, yes! Okay, that sycophant is a goner. The thirst this time, the front ranks. 8 damage. Thank you for the favor of bringing me below half life. I am so very, very grateful. That sycophant is now dead. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's think. Less speed, less accuracy, stun chance. Let's just focus down the guy with greatest potential to hurt me. 11 damage, that's fine. Yep, you take that bleed. I am going to run a redeem here. Nice, 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 nice. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely wine goes down, bit of stress, not too concerned there. 3 damage taken, that's okay by me. No stun, and that's the thing that counts. Let's help that sycophant shuffle off this mortal coil. Not quite good enough to get the kill, so we'll have to invest an additional turn. Uh, an additional turn and one of our guys taking him out. Alright, taking care of bombing around the back rows. Bit of damage taken. Nope, it's a double dodge. Fantastic work, everybody. Hounds rush for the kill. Nine damage taken and a bleed in place. Let's keep that train rolling. I'm not going to bother with a mark at this stage because it is slightly redundant. Your stun resist is really low, but I don't care. I'll just do you some damage instead. Three health left and uh, yeah, this should be round. Done. Done, done, and done. Nicely done. Nicely, nicely done. Alright, I'm gonna... I know I don't need this many torches. That number of torches is just redundant, so let's just toss that. Okay, do a bit of a food shuffle there. Let's actually use some of these dog treats at some stage. How about that? How about that? Alrighty. we find victory. Just a stack of books, don't need to worry about those. Have a battle here, hopefully it gives me a reason to use some dog treats, or at least hopefully I remember to use them. In fact, I think I will use them instantaneously. As soon as I get the chance, I will definitely drop that in place. Have a nosh, good job, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. I don't need a mark to kill the Thunderer. I don't need a mark to kill the Thunderer, so I'm going to use it. Done. Beautiful insta-kill there. Beautiful insta-kill there. Alright, let's use another dog treat. Alright, it's a free stack for me to get some treasure accrued. 
Uh, good chance to kill that meat hooker regardless. Not quite good enough, but we can make it up in the next round. Done! And done with a critical flourish as well. Um, and let's start the pain train going. Seven damage as well as a bleed for six. And a bleed resist is reduced as well. Not too shabby. Crunching backhand goes down. 10 and 11 is quite severe. And I'm going to even... I'm going to consider actually healing up for a turn. Not on you though. You're going to drop a mark. Nicely done. And that prod reduction is going to be so, so useful. Self-heal with Bellicott. The Houndmaster, and as always, guys, I have three Houndmasters here that are all awesome in their own unique and special ways. Feel free to claim them. Uh, this Pippery could be you. Um, in any case, subscriber benefits are always benefits there. 14 bleed coming through the next turn. 38 HP only left. Trot Retreat goes down, and as expected, no damage is taken because I don't believe that attack does anything really. It's just a, a move-based thing. Meantime, we uh, no, we are going to self-heal here just to make sure staying healthy, healthy, and healthy. Hounds Rush critical for 50 damage. Wow! That is a critical hit. That is a critical hit. Alright, let's um drop the gold in rather than the emeralds. I'm going to probably pick here to camp because there is literally no time like the present. Um, we may as well. Let's have a decent nosh. And vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Yep, full for the health. Um, let's pick our options carefully. Uh, yeah, let's avoid surprise. Let's remove stress. Let's remove your stress and let's buff our chance of surprise. Uh, definitely not going to get ambushed. We are doubly insured against ambushing. Let's just press on and see what we have in store. Uh, something in a pack. It, got, it contains loot, which is fine by me. Some bandages and some gold. Uh, okay, fine. Take it all. See what comes next. Flesh Eater, Slayer, and a Reaver. We have Surprise, thanks to the Cartographer's Guild, which makes the game so, so very richly richly satisfying. I'm uh, going to focus on the Reaver, and that's a sweet one-hit kill there, which is better than I could really hope for. Um, that Slayer could take a few hits, I'm sure. I need to drop a mark on him, but first I'll take out the Flesh Eater, if I can. 17 damage taken, no bleed unfortunately, so we'll finish him off there and then. Only one round of the enemy's turn, that's the key focus. Drop a mark on this Slayer, and we'll be fine. 8 damage taken, a move which is inconsequential and no stun as well, which is absolutely fine by me. Let's drop a whistle down. You are marked. Your prot is reduced down to only 3%. And uh, yeah, that's a... That's insane. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. All right, Jute Tapestry, I choose you. I choose you. Um, we're doing for torches. We have like... That's one, two... Three, four, fives. Yeah, we have more than enough torch for what we need, so uh, I'm not going to throw anything out at this stage, but I'll keep that in mind. Let's certainly pick up that change of gold, though. Alrighty, what next? A curio. Um, we could use a damage buff, I'm sure. Let's pick somebody. I think it's going to be medicinal herbs that work on the moonshine barrel. Potent as ever. 30% damage until camp. Not too shabby there. Torch up, get ready, and get into the treasure room battle. Okay, Slayer, Champion, Reaver, and Eskiver, and no surprise this time around, so we'll have to make sure that we focus down on that Skeever pretty promptly. Vomit goes down on Bellicott, but he is too damn pretty to take a hit. Spit to Roast, 29 damage! Gee, Buzz, and a stun as well, so we are in genuine mortal peril. 46 damage taken, 2 bleed coming in, let's finish him off the punish from Miko. My god, that was atrocious. That was atrocious. Alright. Mm. Uh, Alright, let's reduce this Slayer's prop for the moment. Done. Rent for the old gods. Five damage taken. I'm fine with that. Yep, all good there. Ball and chain. Seven damage taken. That's uh, acceptable. No stun, no move. That's all good all over the place. Need that stun to come off that Hound Master, though. That's nasty. Zero damage taken, but 12 stress. No problem there for Nico. Nico laughs in the face of damage. Maniacally. He laughs maniacally in the face of damage. Bleed goes down. 
Uh, I could drop a self-heal here, or I could try and thin the herd. Let's try and thin the herd if we can. Not quite enough damage there to actually take him out, but he'll be dead in his action after next. Alright, I don't mind Nico taking some hits. In fact, I want him to do that so he can get some heals in. Alright, that Slayer is out of action now. It is just... Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. I have a call coming through. I'm going to need to do something about that. Give me two moments, guys. I'll be right back. And we're back. Sorry about that. I had a relative give me a call um, just to wish me a happy birthday because it is my birthday. I'm a big boy now. Mm-hmm. Anyway, hopefully I don't get too many more interruptions. Let's get back into combat. Remember what we were doing here. Alrighty then. I think we were focusing on healing up and then taking down the highest threat, which I think of as going to be the champion in terms of damage. Could mark him, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'm going to drop in just a bit of bleed. Uh, definitely dropping a lick wounds here on Pippery, who has seen better days for sure. Let's keep things going with an Epic strike there, 16 damage is not bad, and that's taken care of. Wow. All right, now that all we have to worry about is stress damage, um, I'm definitely going to be faffing for at least a turn. Vomit goes down, and that's going to add one damage as well as 14 stress. Nothing to be too concerned about there at all. And that Reaver is ready and waiting for a bit of pain. Uh, let's consider our options carefully. We are in... Not quite yet in overtime, so we'll invest a little bit of time in faffing around. I'll drop a punish just to get some... Oh, well. Too much to hope for. Too much to hope for. Alrighty. So what do we have here? As victories mount, so too will resistance. I will drop the torches in favor of portraits. I'm going to use up some food. That's fine. But I'm not going to throw out the stack. Those dog treats aren't really doing me any good at this stage. We'll need medicinal herbs and keys very shortly. Uh, yeah, that's going to have to be it. That is going to have to be it. All right, let's drop a key in this heirloom chest and see what we have to see. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Yeah, so it's unfortunate that, that we have that one extra portrait. I do also need deeds. I'm going to drop the gold in favor of it. Um, and busts are actually less valuable to me than portraits, but I will get rid of those crests instead. That works out. That works out. That works out fine. Let us press on back into the fold. Just do a quick microphone adjust because I have a feeling that it was shifted when someone called. Let's... Even the earliest settlers torch up and see what this treasure room battle has in store for us. Just a bunch of spiders. Now it's easy to overestimate spiders. Um, again, they've got low hit points, but uh, they cause some problems. 11 damage if that bleed takes. It does. He is dead. It's fine by me. Hounds rush on the back row. It's a dodge, unfortunately. Let's try that one more time. Done. Alright, so they will definitely have at least one action the next turn. Let's see how this attack goes. Done. Alright, so they'll have one round against me, which is fine. But I am quite happy with that, given the need Slowly. to buff health Gently. ever so slightly. Life is taken. Um, considering our options, I could just do a de-stress. Alternatively, I can just drop a Hound's Rush, and that's fine. We'll finish things up. Yep, anti-venom there, just in the absolute nick of time. That's okay. Let's drop that key in play and see what we have to see. A lot of gold, not that that lot of gold is going to do me a lot of good. Um, let's see what the scouting reveals for us. That's a battle room. All right, so our routing is going to be used down that way, that way, that way, and then there. Then we'll double back for the secret door when we know what we're doing. Now, is there anything that we, we want to be throwing out? The answer is a clear and decisive negatory. Time to press on. Heading north, we have a pack to loot. All right, free shovel. No complaints there. Uh, ooh, chance to remove some quirks. Let's have a quick run through the party and see what we want to get rid of. Um, see, as much as Nico's rocking a lot of negative quirks, none of them really affect him in a meaningful way. Whereas Pippery actually has some things which... Eh, they're not really particularly negative, but nah, they, they actually do something, hypothetically. Let's drop a torch here. 
burn off some of our burden. Demonomania is clear, and we have some Bloodsuckers to take care of. This time, though, we do have the advantage of surprise. Let's drop a markdown on the Chevalier. His prot is debuffed, and he is ready to be killed. 25 damage, 18 HP left. Can I take him out before the round even starts? Yes, I can. Yes, I can, and he can, and he can. All right, boom. 13 damage to Sycophant, plus 6 bleed coming through. He will survive, but not by a great margin. The Thirst goes down and is dodged like an absolute champ. That Sycophant goes in once again on Pippery, who takes 7 damage. It looks like Pippery is the person they most want to kill, despite his excellent dodge. Oh well. Maddening Wine goes down, distress stress on Nico. Actually, a lot of stress is built up on Nico. I might think about camping somewhat soon for him. Hounds Rush take out this weakened Sycophant. And he will be dead in the next turn. Nicely done. Nicely done. I will self-heal on Pippery. Because I think it's necessary. And uh, let's... What's your chance to stun? No, let's just do some damage. 11 damage taken. A little bit of bleed. Nothing to be particularly proud of. But it will get us through very, very soon. Dodge from Nico, Which is regrettable. I wanted to take just a few more points of damage. And they really don't like Pippery, who is now rocking the Crimson Curse. Woe betide us all. Alright, let's um finish off one Sycophant. Done. Let's consider our options carefully. Dead Deafening Wine. Dodge! That's fine. That's fine. Your health is fine. Alright, let's just wail down on you if we can. Only 9 damage that time around. Bleed does take though. Let's keep things going here. Another 9 damage, 7 HP remaining, but no additional bleed, and this will be the kill. No, it will not. It will not. Alright. Sydney, I believe in you. Done. Done, done, and done. Alright. Some things stack, some things don't, and we are looking just fine. Despite the curse, but again, we do need more people cursed, so we have a higher infestation level, so we get invitations. It's a necessary mechanic of the game. Alright, Flesh Eater. Yeah, let's mark you. No protection to speak of, but we'll mark you regardless. Uh, punish goes down. Eight damage taken. And the debuff on bleed does come into effect, which is fine by me. 48 damage, critical hit. And eight bleed coming in next turn. And that flesh eater is absolutely annihilated. Boar's Rush goes down in the front rank. 16 damage taken. And I thank you kindly. Unfortunately, you have pushed me back and stunned me which is going to be causing some problems down the line, but I should be just fine. Just, just fine. Let's take care of your protection as far as we're able to and start the pain train rolling. Hounds Rush, 29 damage and a bleed to boot. Let's do it again. 16 damage this time, not as impressive, but I cannot complain about the spread of damage we've got. He's on half-life and only one round of attacks. Crunching backhand goes down, 12 and 10 damage respectively, and no stuns taken this time around. I actually think now is going to be the time for me to do a camp, but in the meantime, let's consider our HP carefully. Yes, let's drop a heal on you, my friend, and let's get ready to keep on wailing on this guy. He's still got prot left, so we'll double mark him and keep that debuff progressing. Nicely done. Hounds Rush goes down. 23 damage taken. Just need to get one more hit about that level. And yeah, he's done. He is done. Done like a duck dinner. Done, done, done as he done. Nice. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Let's resort back to first positions. I could... I'm going to keep things going just a little bit longer. I'll probably camp in this battle room with Curio. We'll take care of this trap, though. Not overlook that. Keeping my eyes on the prize, or at least on the floor, so I don't get trapped. Hunger check? Well, I haven't had one of those this entire dungeon, which is quite surprising, to be honest. Uh, we're just barely in Radiant Light. We can torch up. We may as well. We'll feel less guilty when we throw out the leftovers of the stack, that's for sure. And we have a Slayer, a Champion, and a Reaver. No surprise on our side this time around. That's just fine by me. Let's get things opened up with a few early strikes on that Reaver. I don't want him dropping any diseases on me or any stress either. All right, that's taken care of handily. Next up, we're going to be debuffing that Slayer so we can get some sweet and epic damage done with Nico. 16 damage is not a bad strike at all. Unfortunately, the debuff and bleed did not come into effect. Great dodge from Pippery, who is cursed 
but still looking fine. 10 damage taken on Bellicott and no other ill effects. Again, no complaints by me, for me, or from me at all. 22 damage taken, only 5 HP left. Not even sure if I should bother. Let's actually get a preemptive mark going on this champion. I do want to deny him a turn. You know, we will take him out. We will take him out, but we will have this champion debuffed, ready and waiting for a strike from Nico. Unfortunately, nothing sticks. Borush comes down. 32 damage, and we're on death's door. Wow. And we're... Damn. Damn, we need to wrap this round really damn fast. Alright, let's do what we can. That stun will never take. Nico, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. 20 damage. Okay, let's keep things going. Just don't attack Nico, okay? Leave Nico alone. Leave Nico alone. Thank you. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Good. Good, 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 good. Oh, Nico, you've seen better days. Alright, let's just do whatever damage we can. Once again, it's only three, but we'll take it. Ah, uh, yes, please heal yourself. Yes, please heal yourself very promptly. Oh my golly. Wow. And we're still on Half-Life. We can drop that attack one more time if we have to. Wow. Well, we won't have to. That's something at least. Wow, that was nuts. That was nuts. Yeah, you, you bet your you bet your sweet gold ass it's an overconfidence overconfidence is an insidious killer. Uh from memory that item gives me a 50 chance of having horrible things happen. I'm gonna reset back to first positions before I forget. Now is absolutely a time to camp. Uh the battle may yet be won. Yep, let's heal you up a little bit. Let's avoid being ambushed. And it's all about you, Nico. Let's take care of all of your stress. Let's buff and heal you. Oh, this is so sweet. This is so sweet. And let's... There we go. Let's reduce everyone's stress by a few points. Nothing else we can really do. Let's just cure a disease that we have any. Yep, that is just fine. Rest up and let's press on. Done. Wow, that was a nasty round of combat. Um, again, I shouldn't be worried because flagellants are meant to be played on death's door. But by the same token, it's just, it makes me nervous. It makes me nervous. Anyway, we have a surprise coming in play here which is going to be to my definite advantage. Let's try and get a meat hooker taken out as early as possible. Not quite good enough there to get the kill. We can follow things on nicely there with a sweet crit again. Their extra damage against Beast is very handy here. Let's try that again on this meat hooker. Yeah, done. 15 damage is critical if that bleed sticks. It does, he's dead. Nice Hound's Rush on the Reaper. 15 damage, still has 10 HP left. And, guys, it's... I'm just getting cold like crazy. I'll be right... And we're back again. Uh, again, unfortunately, uh, sorry for the interruptions, guys. It is my birthday. And um, everyone wants to call me and say stuff. So, yes, someone interrupting. In any case, I think that the Raving Madman did his party stress attack. It didn't do much good, which is just fine by me. Let's follow things up with taking out that Reaver and denying them a turn. That is just fine. Doomsday goes down once again. Yep, that's actually going to stick and do me a little bit more stress. Um, could faff. We're only in turn two. Uh, let's try and compensate for some of that. No, let's drop a... What to do? Let's try and see if a stress heal even works. 7-7, seven, seven, not amazing. I could probably do without that again. Let's just do some damage in that case. Raving Madman goes down, only 16 HP left. Let's see if we can make the difference here. 11 HP and he will still have one hit point remaining as he comes into his next turn with that bleed, but he will not get a chance to do it diddly because Nico comes in for the kill. At least promises success. Pick up that torch. That portrait is fine and we'll take that rather than the gold. I am so glad I'm getting a decent haul of portraits. That's 10 plus the 9 reward for this quest. We are doing just fine. Now we have a treasure room battle, we have a curio battle, and then a secret room takeout, and then we are done. Now that cultist witch could be a concern for me. 
the champion could be a concern. The Swanator champion is definitely a concern. He's been getting some really nasty hits on Nico, so I'm going to focus down on the champion to start things off. The protection has been debuffed. Punish goes down. Only seven damage. De de yeah, only seven damage dealt, and nothing else stuck either. Stressful incantation goes down. That's an extra 14 stress, and my torchlight does go down. Also marked stumbling scratch is dodged like an absolute pro. We have two free hits on the champion with his armor and arms down. Hound's Rush goes in. 20 damage taken and 40 HP. 36, I stand corrected, HP is all that remains. Trot Retreat does the nothing. And uh, time to drop another punish in place. 10 damage taken, 26 damage, and 10 bleed to come. So functionally only 16 health. And that is... Yeah, he is a goner. Absolute goner. Great dodge in that stressful incantation. And it's time for us to get the pain train rolling. That witch needs to die. That witch needs to die. And as uh, all the, um, you know, all the, the Warhammer 40k fans will know, you should suffer not a witch to live. No, burn the heretic. Purge the mutant. Kill the psyker. As, as, as has been demonstrated just, just now just now. Alright, let's keep things going. Uh, 30 damage done on the champion there. That cultist champion doesn't have long left to live, but he also got a strike in. Ren of the Old Gods goes down. Crit for 11 damage, which is quite good in the grand scheme of things, but it isn't going to really slow me down at all. 11 damage taken, and uh, yeah, next attack is going to be the end. The end. The end of him. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Okay, quick look through the next steps. We have a secret room. We have a curio battle. Don't need those medicinal heads, uh, medicinal he heads, medicinal herbs anymore. I'll drop those in favor of the busts. Nothing else can really be used meaningfully. I will have one key left. The secret room, which is fine by me. I will not need to cover any obstacles either. So I could either take that shield which is just going to be useful for money, or I could take the blood, which is going to be useful in the macro. That is the best decision I can think of. Yes, indeedy. Right, let's drop those shovels, and let's... Whoops. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, that's right, because we already took out that curio room. We just need to... Okay, that's fine. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Already took out that... Already cleared that curio room. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. To the brave and the foolhardy alike. Well, I can I can nix these torches. I can hope for not getting a hunger check. Um, and again, it is portraits that I have the greatest need for. I could not bring the blood along. I could drop the gold. And in fact, I think I'm going to drop the gold. It's fine by me. Let's take the remainder of those busts and we are good let's just do a quick press on here uh let's remove some stress by disarming that trap hope for no hunger check definitely leaving that thing alone do not summon a shamble not that i can because i threw out all of my torches which is wonderful um skeleton key nice 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 and trapezohedron well performed those portraits stack can grab that as well and Jute Tapestry is worth more, so I have min-maxed my infantry as much as I humanly can. I'm going to call that quest complete, and let's check out the haul of this very long and often interrupted video. Their confidence is shaken. So, 26.5k in gold. Oh, let's count up. 32 crests, 4 deeds. Oh my god, 23 portraits and 18 busts. That will all come in very, very useful. Some quirks. Hylomania is going to be annoying. I should cure that. Wield Scrounger is fine. Cove Tactician and Scurvy. I can cure that. And Sydney is a beast hater. Um, yeah, all good. We've also picked up the curse on Pippery, which is fine. That is going to help me with my invitations. Supply Run will reduce the cost of supplies, which is just fine by me. And doing a summary of week 90, Calder has removed known cheat. Hagiomania is gone from Tanel, and Zachary is no longer God-fearing. Brimu and Harriet have controlled their urges for the curse, and 
yeah, let's uh, do a quick consideration of the next mission we're going to take. Now, we've got the Ancestor's Signet Ring. Uh, no more Ancestor's Charms here. Could use those deeds, and it is a short map. It's worth considering. Looking up next, we have nothing of particular relevance here. One long, one medium. And then the Cove. Bounty Hunter Helmet. Eh. Sacred Scroll, already got one. Yeah, Crusader has already got one, I think. I think. Do I? No, I don't. Well, that, that, that could be an option. Again, it is going to give me busts, though, rather than portraits. Uh, Alright, I've got some thinking to do about what I'm going to be bringing. What the hell is that? Plus 10 death blow resist. Meh. Yeah, okay, maybe. But it doesn't get me towards my objectives. I'll probably do something again in the Warrens just to progress through and unlock that boss, then take out the flesh monstrosity of Doom. Our infestation level is only medium, but it is time for us to call this episode to a close. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this very, very long and often interrupted episode. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. If you like what you see, hit that like button for me. Um, if you're tuning in as well, I've made a bit of a thank you video to my subscribers. Now that I've hit 50 of them, check that out. I'll put that on the screen as a link. There's also a playlist there. If you're new to the channel, check that out and see how we've gotten into this particularly misbegotten place. In the meantime, my name is Adum. This has been an absolute thrill, and I will catch you guys all next time.